Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Nintendo Fan 10039 video. Hope all of you are doing well. Uh, today's video, we will be talking about the upcoming Nintendo Direct. And a few weeks ago, uh, Nintendo had an announcement over on Twitter. And I will also be talking briefly about that as well and what it may mean for the future of Nintendo and all of that good stuff. So I think I'm going to be going to start with. Um, they had a brief investors meeting, uh, a briefing with investors, and they've had forecasted sales for the current Nintendo Switch hardware. And let me see if I can pull that up fairly quickly. Right here we are. The uh, consolidated financial forecast is what it's called. The net sales for the fiscal year of 2024, which just ended, that the net sales were 1,671.8 billion yen. Um, but the important stuff that we want to look at here is the hardware as well as the software. Um, so for the fiscal year that ended, uh, Nintendo sold 15.7 million units of the Nintendo Switch hardware. Um, now that hardware includes things like the Nintendo Switch OLED, the regular Nintendo Switch, as well as the Nintendo Switch Lite models. The software sold had 199.67 million units. So that's a lot of games that they sold within the fiscal year of uh, 2024. Now, if you look at the column for fiscal year 2025, which is the upcoming forecast, you can see that the hardware is dropping to 13.5 million units and the software is dropping to 165 million units. Now, these are very round numbers because, of course, these are a forecast. Um, so that means these aren't going to be the exact uh, numbers that Nintendo will sell throughout the fiscal year of 2025. But it gives all of us a brief little insight into what it may mean for uh, the, well, this year of the uh, Nintendo Switch. So I'm thinking that Nintendo expects a few more Switches to sell, which makes sense. I know people are excited about the Switch 2 and a uh, new generation of hardware coming up fairly soon. However, I think this means that we could be either be seeing a price drop in the current Nintendo Switch or a few major titles releasing within this fiscal with releasing within this fiscal year. And uh you know, we just had the release of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. People, like myself, um, really love that game. And a lot of people, a lot of younger people, uh, may not have had the opportunity to try the original game when it first released on the Nintendo GameCube. Now, um, I expect there's going to be a few more games this year that will... Uh, spark people to pick them up. Um, I don't think any of these upcoming titles will be very major with a caveat of one or two. Um, and again, as in past years, Nintendo can always readjust the forecast at sales and move them up or down. Um, so Nintendo made a tweet on Twitter. I refuse to call it X because uh, I just refuse to call it X. Now, if I go back to their tweet. So their tweet says this. This is for Akala, president of Nintendo. We will make an announcement about the successor to Nintendo Switch within this fiscal year. It will have been over nine years since we announced the existence of Nintendo Switch back in March 2015. 
Well, we will be holding a Nintendo Direct this June regarding the Nintendo Switch software lineup for the latter half of 2024. But please be aware that there will be no mention of the Nintendo Switch successor during that presentation. Now, why would Nintendo do this? I have a few, uh, few reasons why I think that they would announce the Direct as well as the Nintendo Switch 2 in that tweet that they did. Uh, one, it's to make sure that people keep their expectations in check for June's Direct. It's not going to be covering Nintendo Switch 2 console. It's not going to be covering Nintendo Switch 2 games. Uh, it's going to be solely focused around the Nintendo Switch 1 side of things. Um, now, this also builds up a little bit of hype for people. And I know that it's not as exciting as it were, as it would be if it was covering both Switch 1 and Switch 2 hardware and software. Um, but I don't think Nintendo is quite ready to kind of drop the Switch 2 information quite yet. I mean, they want to make sure that Switch 1 still keeps selling well and uh, all the games that they're releasing uh, throughout the rest of this year sell fairly well. Now, we'll talk about more Switch 2 stuff in another video, um, but there's also one more reason why I think that they would announce it so early like this, and that is to reassure gamers and investors alike that more games are coming to the Switch in the following months after Luigi's Mansion 2. Luigi's Mansion 2, as all of us know, drops this month. Um, so, moving on, I, uh, I believe this will be the final Switch presentation, uh, like the full Nintendo Direct. Um, I think the September Direct, we all know that that's quite a common occurrence for Nintendo and their uh, advertising. And I believe that will cover both Switch 1 and Switch 2 games. Um, I believe that this Direct could continue to show uh, that this Direct will show off only Switch 1 hardware. Huh. Excuse me. So in addition to the September Direct, I believe that they'll also show off some games throughout the year. And... Uh, there may also be more Switch 1 games shown off throughout the rest of the year. But I think once they unveil the Switch 2 hardware, uh, Switch 2 games will be more of an occurrence. And so for this June Direct, I don't expect a lot of new games or anything too hype inducing, apart from one or two big titles. I think Nintendo's focus is really solely focused around the Nintendo Switch 2 side of things and making sure that when the Switch 2 gets released, it has a really solid l launch lineup. And uh, I don't think they'll be putting too many resources into development for Switch 1. Now, that's not to say that uh, cross-generation titles will not exist. I believe, I, I think that there will be a lot of Switch 1 and Switch 2 overlap. Um, there's a few reasons why I think this, but I'll get into that more in the Switch 2 video. But I really don't think people should have their expectations too high for this June Direct. We've had a lot of great games released for the Switch 1 over its lifetime. Uh, nine years of Switch 1 games, and we've had everything from The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, to Super Mario Odyssey, to um, even Metroid Prime Remastered, and Thousand Year Door, and yeah, 
We have quite a lot of games, and I don't expect there will be too many more uh, games shown off in this Direct. I mean, we haven't gotten uh, an F-Zero, a new F-Zero game, apart from F-Zero 99. And we also haven't received a new entry in the Star Fox series. And of course, there are always games people will want that simply aren't in the pipeline. Um, so here are 10 things that I expect to see within the Nintendo Direct of June. And that includes a price drop of the original Switch. I think that this makes a lot of sense. Switch One is entering its final days, and if Nintendo wants to keep pushing out the Switch One hardware a little bit, I think you can easily do a price drop on both the Switch One, the Switch Lite, uh, the OLED, all of that. And uh, I think it'll cause people to pick up a few more systems if they were on, either on the fence or, you know, waiting for the price drop. I think it's an inevitability at this point. And uh, I think the price drop will probably be sometimes in the summer, probably like, I don't know, 50, 50 bucks off, I think. I was going to say 50 to 100, but the $100 price drop seems a little, a little excessive. I don't think Nintendo would do that, um, but they might also have Switch uh, Nintendo Select titles, which uh, if anyone's not familiar with those for the 3DS, and I believe it was also on the Wii, um, those were basically Nintendo marking games off and selling them at a discount price to make sure that those games sold uh, fairly well in those systems last uh, stretch of their life. Now, uh, we'll move on to the next thing that I expect to see within this Direct, and that is a new 2D Zelda. I think a new 2D Zelda won't require too many um, resources to like push out there. I mean, we just had Tears of the Kingdom, which was a gigantic game. I'm still playing through it. Um, but I think a new 2D, 2D Zelda requires a lot less work and uh, is simply something Nintendo can push out to basically have as something Zelda related each year, which we've sort of had um, for the last well, the last few years. <laughs> um, and I think I think it'll be something new. I don't think it'll use motion controls a lot. Um, I think it's going to be fairly simple. Um, expect more of, I don't know, Link's Awakening remaster kind of, except uh, a new a new game with a new story. Um, so that's kind of fun. Um, hope I hope that comes true. Um, the next thing that I expect to see at this June Direct, speaking of Zelda, we have Twilight Princess and Wind Waker combo or standalone. People have been watching this for a long time, ever since both games released on the Wii U way back in the day. That must have been 10 years ago, 11 years ago. And uh, I think Nintendo will either do a combo pack of both games or standalone. Charge people 60 bucks per game and uh, that'll be that. Um, I don't expect there to be too many new enhancements over what came over to the Wii U, but maybe some updated textures and uh, maybe some updated lighting. Just some nice little uh, um, enhancements over the Wii U. The Switch is a little bit more powerful, so that would make sense. But again, I don't expect there to be too much in regards to um, new features or anything like that. 
Now, we have a little bit of sad news. The next thing I expect to see within this Nintendo Direct is Splatoon 3 coming to an end, and that means, of course, a final Splatfest. Um, Splatoon 3 has been around for two or three years already, and uh, I think with the game um, coming to its end of life, and more specifically, the original Switch, I think it makes a lot of sense for Splatoon 3 to kind of end. Um, either, I'm going to say it's probably going to be the winter time, but I wouldn't also be surprised if it's maybe September. Um, I don't think summer. Otherwise, I think they would have announced it already. But I could be wrong. Um, I think Switch 2 will have Splatoon 4, and that makes a lot of sense to end Splatoon 3 on kind of a high point. I'm not sure if a lot of people are still playing Splatoon 3. It's been a while since I've picked up the game, apart from the fantastic little bit of DLC we got um, a few months ago. And uh, yeah, I think... I think ending Splatoon 3 makes a lot of sense, as sad as that may be. Um, now, the next thing that I think will be announced, or I expect to see within this Direct, is a Switch 2 presentation date. I think the Switch 2 video announcing what the hardware is, or something like that, Nothing about the games, really, but just the hardware side of things. I think that'll be announced within this Direct. Um, and my guess would be... Let's see. I'm actually going to say it's going to be... July. I think a July Switch 2 presentation covering the hardware side of things makes a lot of sense. Uh, Nintendo usually likes to go quiet for August, and uh, then they can come back and talk about the games in September. Um, yeah, I really don't expect too much. Um, it might even be like a short little video like the Switch One had, where you see the guy playing Breath of the Wild on the couch with his dog, and then he takes the dog to a little park and uh, I think we may have also seen a brief snippet of Super Mario Odyssey so who knows you might even see a little brief snippet of some other launch game or launch year game with this video um, maybe that's just special thank you on my part moving on something more expected is and it's probably an easy to guess at this point is going to be luigi's mansion 2 hd that game is supposed to release in june when's this direct well it's in june so i expect them to just do a brief recap about luigi's mansion 2 maybe some gameplay additions from more gameplay changes from three since people are used to that one um and uh, yeah, I think that'll be about it. I really don't have too much more to say about Luigi's Mansion 2. I played the 3DS model, the 3DS version rather. And uh, yeah, it's an okay game. It's the uh, it's my least favorite of all three, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, okay. So another game that I expect to see within this Direct is Xenoblade Chronicles X. People have been clamoring for this game for a long time. And with Xenoblade 1, 2, 3, Torna Golden Country, uh, I'm trying to remember all of the, uh, all of the Xenoblade stuff. But there's been almost every game has been on the Nintendo Switch side of things. And uh, 
I don't think Xenoblade Chronicles X would be held over for Switch 2. I mean, they could do that, but I think it's more reasonable to suspect that they'll just they'll do Xenoblade Chronicles X on the Switch. And uh, I think people will be happy. I think I don't know if they'll add anything. I really don't see them adding much. They could add a little post game or some additional content, but um, I don't think that's going to happen. I think just up all the textures and uh, making um, making everything seamless and uh, work flawlessly on the Switch. I think that's going to be their main their main thing that they're working on. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to look great. I Meaning Xenoblade games have always looked really good on Switch. So I don't expect that to change. Um, yeah. Now, we are coming up to the end of the Nintendo Direct. Uh, for Pokemon fans, I think Pokemon's going to have a little nugget in here, and that's briefly going to be Pokemon Legends A to Z. And uh, I have no idea what this game's going to be. They haven't really shown us a lot of what this game could possibly be. Uh, A to Z, I assume it's going to be something with his, something having to do with Zygarde, the legendary Pokemon. And we've played Pokemon Legends Arceus. So maybe Arceus is the A. Um, and we all kind of know how that gameplay style works. I have no idea if there will be any additional uh, features or added gameplay mechanics. Um, to be honest, I haven't really completed Pokemon Legends Arceus yet. It is quite good, but... Uh, Maybe you could do more Pokemon battling, I guess? I, it's hard to say. Um, it's definitely more of the Monster Hunter series where you're, you're like sneaking in the tall grass and trying to like be stealthy. And uh, then you have the boss battles. And yeah, I, maybe more of a city. I like maybe make it move it to uh, more modern times. Uh, Arceus kind of took place in like ancient times. And maybe this new one will be in like more modern times or even like post apocalyptic or something. I don't know. Um, we have two games left that I expect to see. Uh, the next one is a new Kirby 2D game. Uh, new 2D Kirby and uh, again like 2D Zelda I don't think these will take too many resources away from develop developing cool and awe-inspiring Switch 2 games um, and 2D games are theoretically more uh, easily developed than 3D games and I, while I do expect Kirby to have a 3D game in the future again, just like Kirby and the Forgotten Land, um, I don't think that there will be another 3D Kirby game on Switch One. I just don't think that makes sense. And with the new hardware coming up fairly soon, uh, I just think it makes more sense to hold that game back and simply do a 2D Kirby game to entertain us gamers in the meantime. Um, maybe we'll see some new copy abilities, maybe not. Uh, I, I don't know what they could possibly do with a Kirby 2D game, but um, yeah. 
maybe they'll actually do the uh, rainbow curse like people have been uh, rumoring about. And the last game that I expect to see within this Nintendo Direct is Metroid Prime 4. Uh, now, this is the big one. I expect a lot of people will lose their minds, myself included. I am a big Metroid fan, as all of you know. And uh, I've been playing through Metroid Prime Remastered a little bit. And it's very good. It's basically just the original game, but with enhanced uh, visuals. And it looks fantastic, I gotta say. But we could either see Metroid Prime 4 here or Metroid Prime 2 and 3. Um, I could see both options being viable. Um, but I think Metroid Prime 4 makes more sense. Even though people may not have the entire Metroid Prime saga available to them on the Switch. Um, now, if they go the Metroid Prime 2, 3 route, the remaster of those two games, I think they're going to be more simple than what we got with the first remaster. And uh, again, I go back and forth on whether this will be a combo pack or two standalone games, if they go that route. But as for Metroid Prime 4, we have not seen a lot of it. And I expect it to now be a Switch 2, Switch 1 cross-gen game. And uh, I think it'll look even, maybe even better than Metroid Prime Remaster. Uh, they've been working on this game for a very long time. And uh, I think we might see some bosses. I don't think we'll see too much of like what exactly the game has in store. I think they want to save that for a future Nintendo Direct. However, this game has dropped off of a lot of people's um, radars. And I expect a another teaser trailer to be in order for Metroid Prime 4. And then they can do a full unveiling of the game at September's Direct, because it'll be a both a Switch 1 and a Switch 2 game. And uh, I know I'm looking forward to playing Metroid Prime 4. I still have to beat Metroid Prime 3 on stream. But as soon as Metroid Prime 4 gets announced, I will be focusing on that. Um, and that is basically my video covering everything to do with the Nintendo Direct for June and uh, all my predictions and some other stuff that I wanted to briefly discuss in, within this video. And uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, if you liked it, hit the like button. If you loved it, hit the subscribe button. We are continuing Paper Mario streams next week. So uh, hope all of you will tune in for that. Uh, we are doing we are doing the great Boggly Woods and the Boggly Tree and all that good stuff in next stream. So it'll be a lot of fun. And uh, hope all of you have a fantastic day. Please take care of yourselves. And I shall see you within the next one. Bye for now.